Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use Stereo Delay in Logic X. Any delay plugin can be a great tool to use creatively or to thicken up one of your sounds. I've chosen the Stereo Delay as I really like the wide field that it gives you. So here I've just laid out some chilled piano chords and we'll apply a delay to them and then I'll go over each parameter and explain how all of them work. So here are the chords on their own. Okay, so as you can clearly see, there are four different sections to this. You've got the left delay, the right delay, global, and output mix. The left delay controls the parameters for what will be playing from the left side, and the right delay for the right side. In global, you have routing, which will determine where the source is coming from and how strong it is. So here we've got it on straight, so everything is normal and we can do what we like with it. But there are some interesting ones, like the ping pong ones, which can start on the left or right and bounce back and forth. So these are similar to presets. And here is Tempo Sync, which matches the delay speed with the tempo of your project, so you can select your delay in note length. This is a must 99% of the time, but is very useful if you're doing sound design. And lastly is Stereo Link. And when this is on, whatever you change on one side will also change on the other as well. So here it is off, I can change this. It only affects this, but if we switch it on, it'll do both sides. Next is output, and this will determine the level of the delay on each side. So the lower these are, the quieter they are, and the higher they are, the louder they are for each side. Now for the main parts. As the parameters are the same on each side, I'll just be explaining the left, and whatever is said about it will also be applicable to the right in the exact same way, just inverted. I'll explain each parameter, then at the end play the piano and demonstrate all the changes in the parameters. So here we have the input menu. And this is where you can choose the input signal for each of the stereo sides. And you can also turn it off if you don't want any delay on this side. Next is the note length. And this will change the length of the delay. Everything from 1 16th triplet, so very fast, to 1 half dotted, and very, which is very slow, and everything in between. It's also represented on this dial here, which you can also change. And next to this you have deviation. And this will increase or decrease the delay by a percentage so that the delay will fall outside of note length. Below that you have the low cut and the high cut. This is a frequency spectrum to change what frequencies this side will and won't reflect. So as it is, it's 20 to 20,000 Hz, which is the full spectrum for human hearing. But I can change these sliders so that the delay won't play back the frequencies outside of it. Next is the feedback. This is how long the delay will last for. A smaller percentage will only have a few reflections, but a large one will have more and last for a longer time. Now we have the crossfeed, and this will transfer the feedback signal between each side. And lastly is the phase buttons. The feedback phase button is used to invert the phase of this side's feedback signal, and the crossfeed phase inverts the phase of the crossfed feedback signals. So each of these invert the delayed signal to prevent any phasing issues. So now I'm going to play the chords and play around with all the parameters, and I'm going to start with routing to show you how some of these work.
The stereo delay has a lot of potential and is a great tool to use for creative purposes. I personally really like separating the low frequencies onto one side and the high onto the other so each end can be heard really clearly. It's great for vocals, synths and other leads just to really thicken it up and widen your stereo field. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers.